Three, three six. Three. No, I said two, two, go. Okay. You ready? Wait. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> ready? You told me scissors. Do scissors, ready? Hey, everybody, welcome to Upscale Audio, and today we're showing you the best speakers under 7,000. Hey everybody, I'm Jake from Upscale Audio. And I'm Jordan from Upscale Audio. And today we're doing the next video in our series of the best speakers at under certain price ranges. Today, we're jumping into the $7,000 price range. Let's dive in. Coming up first, we have the Klipsch Cornwall number no. 4 coming in at 6600 So Klipsch was founded in 1946 by Paul Klipsch and they became as synonymous with America Hi-Fi as Apple Pie and Baseball. So they are just an American icon. They are horn-loaded speakers, they are made in the USA, and they sound like you are at the concert and it's lively and efficient. So Jordan, talk to me about the tech. Sure thing. So for this guy here, it is going to be a three-way crossover. Uh, so we do start off with our tweeter on the very top, which is going to be a titanium diaphragm. And then moving over into our mid base, we are going to be looking at a poly, Jake, correct me? I think it's polydyne. Polydyne. But let us know in the comments down below if we butchered that name. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, so we do have a polydyne driver here. Now, these are going to be horn loaded. In particular, the mid base is going to be using the patented, I'm going to say patented, track tricks. Track tricks. Track tricks. Tra tra tricks <laughs> design, which does help out uh, produce uh, better lows in our mids, uh, as well as bringing down the distortion. Now, talking about the main piece, as you can obviously see here, we do have a 15-inch woofer, which, wow, <laughs> does it provide quite the bass reproduction. Now, Jake, why don't you tell us more about the out audio quality listening experience. If, if you've never heard a 15 inch woofer, you know when you got two speakers, you got two 15 inch woofers in the room, Jesus they pack a punch. So these speakers have presence, they have awesome bass, and they sound like you're at the concert. So we listened to a song called Doomsday by off an album called Five Second Flat, and it's a song about like a high school breakup, but it's super dramatized. And oh my God, it was like she was in the room playing the instruments in front of us. And when you have that big 15 inch woofer, you just like, you felt like she was moving around and she really had gear, real gear. Like it wasn't coming from a speaker, you were at the concert. So it sounds incredible. They did add some awesome upgrades in this fourth generation of the Cornwall. So they did, like Jordan said, switch to the Polydyme in the mid range and as well as they put internal audio quest wiring. So they improved the internal wiring of the speaker, which that's always nice, you know? But this was an awesome speaker. Now let's move on to number two. Up next is the Fine Audio 502 SP, which is in this gorgeous gloss walnut finish. So Fine Audio was named after Lock Fine, which is about two hours from Glasgow, and they are gonna be the youngest company on this video list. They were founded in 2017. Now, does that mean they didn't know what they were doing because they're so new? No, they have worked in the industry for decades, famously at Tannoy, and they are just titans in the speaker designing industry. This is gonna be the 502 SP. That SP stands for Special Production, which Jordan, take it away. <laughs> what does that mean? Talk to me about the tech. Sure, so the specialty of the SP lineup is that it takes technology from the 700 series and brings it down into this 500 series cabinet. So starting off, we do actually take the ISO flare technology from the 700s, which we'll find here in the driver tech. So starting off with our tweeter, we do have a one inch magnesium dome tweeter, which is gonna be crossed over with the mid base driver on the top. Now you will see, Jake, that this here is going to use you always say dual concentric technology. Point source. Point source technology. Now, we do get dual eight inch mid drivers, so we are gonna have a separate crossover here for our secondary eight inch driver. Jumping on, moving over to their patented base tracks technology, you'll find down at the very bottom, the twin, I'm gonna call this the twin metal plates, although that does have a specific name. Uh, right at the very bottom, we're gonna have a port that is gonna hit this Hershey's Kiss looking cone to help disperse the bass evenly throughout the entire room. And man, do these things sound fantastic. Jake, tell me about it. Yeah, so what song did we get to listen to today? Another new awesome track I never heard? No, Jordan played <laughs> Hallelujah by Pentatonix again, and I promise this will be the last time we ever mention them in a video, even though it's Jordan's reference track. It's honestly the song I've heard most besides 
uh, Ballad of the Runaway Horse, which <laughs> Kevin makes us play every setup. So, how did this sound? Amazing. A lot better than just fine, trust <laughs> me. So, it was gonna be like just awesome three dimensionality. There, there was awesome vocals. Fine to me, any concentric or point source speaker has amazing vocals, partic particularly female vocals, but male vocals are no slouch on these. Because of that bass tracks, they had room filling bass, and it is just an awesome speaker. It was warm and it was awesome, and I was, you know, I love these fine speakers. <laughs> they sounded almost holographic, I yeah. would state. Uh, for me, the, the vocalist sounded like he was three feet away from me, even though I was sitting 10 feet back from these speakers. I mean, Jake kind of hit it. These things are like three-dimensional when you're listening to certain tracks. Uh, we have listened to more than just <laughs> Hallelujah by Pentatonix, uh, but I think we'll be adding some of our reference tracks in the video, down, the video description down below if you want to check those out. And can you please comment what track we should listen to next time? Because I am so tired of Pentatonix. <laughs> All right, let's move on to our third pick. Last and certainly not least, we have the Focal Aria Evo X number four. A lot of number four speakers on this uh, on this video, right? Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. Interesting. So Focal was founded in France in 1979, and they famously merged and partnered up with British audio company Name to form the Vervin Audio Group. Now you might remember Name because we did just recently feature them on our favorite all-in-ones. You can watch that video here. But this speaker is awesome. It has incredible technology such as the Flax, which they grow themselves in France, mm -hmm. and they just sound striking. And Focal famously is the brand of speaker that our boss, Kevin, chose for his listening room. That's true, he has the Grand Utopias at home, which fortunately don't have the Grand Utopias here, but we do they, have- Yeah, they make us look short. <laughs> they make everyone look short. Uh, jumping on over to the Focal Ario Evo X number four's tech. Oh my God, that's a mouthful. Uh, starting off with the tweeter, we are going to have a magnesium aluminum uh, blend for our tweeter. This is going to be in their M-shaped design and it's inverted. The inverted tweeter is gonna help with audio dispersion across the room. So, I mean, it makes it so the sweet spot's not just one little designated area, it is a bit wider. Yeah, it can also help with time alignment, which is super important so you don't get jitter, which is the depth of how your music sounds. 100% true. Moving on over into our mid bass, we are gonna have a six and a half inch flax driver. Like Jake said, the flax is going to be grown in France. Uh, actually, this speaker itself is designed and manufactured in France, which is pretty cool. Moving on down to our woofers, these are going to be a dual eight inch setup. Now it is a three way crossover, so these are gonna replicate the same frequency of audio. Moving on down, we are going to have two ports on this unit. We have a front port and a down firing port, which is why you're gonna see a kind of a gap here at the very bottom. Other tech inside of the speaker is going to have to do with their updated tweeter, which is going to use the new one that is used as well, I believe in the Bestia lineup. And we have tune mass dampeners in our mid driver. So it is gonna help weigh down the actual unit itself, causing less, or therefore there will be less distortion in general. Now these things sound fantastic. Uh, we did listen to quite a few songs with this, including Mufford and Sons, which Jake, take it away. I was so excited that Jordan liked Mufford and Sons because I thought that was just my people's music. <laughs> <laughs> I love Mufford and Sons. Okay, so Mumford & Sons, why do these sound so good? I've always loved Focal speakers that use the flax driver. It's gonna give you an amazing transparent and clear sound, similar to paper, but it's much more rigid and secure than just paper. So these sound awesome. I feel like for me, and I've said this before in previous videos, and but it's gonna ring true, Focal is for that critical listener. While Klipsch may be that you're at the concert and fine may be that they're playing in front of you. Focal is you're listening to them record it in the studio. So you might hear little things like, oh, they maybe they sneezed or they coughed while they were recording the track, but oh my gosh, it's not sterile, it's not clinical. It sounds clear, but with life. And they disappear into a room. They are a dead cabinet and Mumford & Sons sounded amazing. Let's take it away. And that's gonna bring this video to a close. It was a lot of fun to do. But remember, we're not saying these are the only three speakers you should consider at under 7,000. There's awesome choices such as the Revel F226. <laughs> and there's as well the Cabas Murano Altos as well. And what we're gonna do, like we do all, all of our previous videos, we're gonna turn this into a blog. It'll be on our website. So you can see all of our favorite picks at under 7,000. So thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what speaker caught your eye or if there was another speaker under 7,000 that we didn't consider. Smash that like button 
ring that bell for notifications, and remember at Upscale, we'll treat your system like it's ours.